Hello and welcome to the first of four videos for Module 4 of Praxis. If you've been following along the entire time, my page, I really appreciate it. Keep sending me that feedback. It's really, really useful. Um, but uh, what we're doing today is actually, quote unquote, putting big ideas to use. And this whole last week we've covered content that's based on philosophy. It's been really, really interesting and really insightful. And uh, one piece of content that really actually stood out to me was what is philosophy and omnibus definitions from prominent philosophers. And the reason that this stuck out to me, stood out to me rather, was the large variety of answers that were given by philosophers obviously doing very similar jobs. And uh, to give kind of examples, I'm just going to read some quotes. Uh, Marilyn Adams said that philosophy is thinking really hard about the most important questions and trying to bring analytic clarity to both the questions and the answers. John Armstrong simply said, philosophy is a successful love of thinking. And finally, Richard Bradley said, philosophy is 99% critical reflection on anything you care to be interested in. So widely different answers from people that are doing these same jobs. So that really made me start thinking. And one question that's brought up in philosophy, really more than any other, I would say, is what is the meaning of life? And it's a very broad question, just like what is philosophy? So I began to question that myself, and it made me want to read more about what others had and what others had opinions on in that regard. And that's what actually my notes were taken on this week, is different content that I read each day outside of Praxis. So I'll put a link below as well so you can reach that content. There were three pieces of content that I went over this week that really stood out to me as big pieces that kind of put the picture all together. And uh, one I read was Sun Tzu. Uh, it was off the History Channel. It was just a brief kind of article that they wrote about his life and the art of war and things of that nature. And it just brought in conflict resolution and how you should live your life if you're looking to live a peaceful life and the best ways to mediate that. Then I listened to the Joe Rogan Experience, which is a podcast, if you haven't heard of it, episode 1208 with Jordan Peterson, who's a, a very well-known um, neuroscientist or a psychologist, and he explains the importance of meaning in one's life um, just really in regards to your ability to maintain important relationships in your life or for you to bring any value in your life and your ability to kind of maintain balance in your entire life and how that's important. Uh, there's a great quote from that as well, which I'll be bringing up later. And uh, most importantly is that it did help bring some clarity into what I thought the meaning of life was. And um, so in my opinion, I think the meaning of life just in general for across the board for really anybody who's looking or searching is learning learning not only more about yourself, but more about your world, uh, the world around you, whether or not that's your community, um, the country you live in, or even globally. Um, striving to learn on a daily basis is you know, kind of the whole importance of the human experience. The reason that we are different from other animals in the animal kingdom is we have society. We have the ability to communicate freely and, and the ability to learn more about one another actively. And um, you shouldn't have expectations for things to always be the same. That's, as some famous person I'm sure once said, you know, the only constant in the world is change. So uh, for you to have the expectation that you're going to be the same person that you were two weeks ago, two years from now, it is just an unrealistic expectation. And even though I think that that is the meaning of life, the meaning of your life is specifically different from everyone else. It's, it's completely dependent upon you. That could be anything simple like family or friends or your community or something you do like your job that you work for that makes you really passionate creates meaning creates value and uh you, that's completely dictated by you if you're not the one choosing that then then you're not the one that's making your decisions and a really important quote that jordan peterson actually had in uh, episode 1208 was you find what you need where you least want to look so the things that necessarily make you uncomfortable or that are fun that you don't necessarily notice right away, those little brief instances where you feel content with what you're actually doing, those are things that you should focus on in determining what is meaningful to you and what the meaning of or what you want the meaning of your life to be like. And so, yeah, that, that was really the main thing that I went over this week. It was, it was really fun to think about and really kind of get out of my head in comparison to, you know, all of the... the 
daily stuff that goes on through the week. So if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, just as always, please shoot me an email to the contact portion of my webpage, and uh, I'll see you all next Sunday when I post my second video. It's going to be on quit critical thinking, and it, it should be a lot of fun. So uh, thank you once again, and uh, see you later.